Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. Today I'm going to give you a list of 10 ideas of things you can get your mom or a loved one in your life that is a feminine gift, an idea that's kind of thinking outside of the box or is being cliche. This is going to give you a top 10 list, at least in my eyes. So the one is probably one of the most cliche gift ideas and that is flowers. I love flowers. There are a lot of people that say they don't like them because they're a waste of money. I personally think that that is a great gift because it's an interesting way to think about like life. If you didn't invest in your life, knowing there's an end to it, what good of the life would it be? When you purchase flowers, you know there's an end of life to it, but you appreciate it for what it is. They smell good. They look beautiful. They make you feel good. Why not? In my eyes, I feel like the gesture is really sweet. You can even preserve your flowers if you really wanted to. I've seen some hacks um, in different ways you can do it. So it is just a thought. I know like for me, I went to Trader Joe's and I have a thing of eucalyptus. You can get fresh eucalyptus plants and you can keep them. At first they'll smell amazing and then they'll eventually dry up, but they stay as a beautiful decoration in your house. So something to think of, just flowers. The second thing is also cliche, but not only am I gonna say chocolates, I'm gonna go a step further and say their favorite candy. So if you can find out something that, that they really like, try to aim for that and you can run with it because if somebody has a favorite of something, they'll, have a, they'll never have enough of it. <laughs> and even if they don't have it right away, they can save it for a rainy day and one day they'll be like, oh my goodness, I have this and this person got this for me and I remember telling them this was my favorite and it ends up being really meaningful in the end. So although a cliche gift, still meaningful. The third thing takes a little talent, takes a little time, a little effort, and this can be any of these ideas or others if you have them. But this is tailored to specifically a gift for someone else. And this is something you don't have to buy. You can make a poem, you can write a song, you can write a song, whether you sing it or not is up to you. Um, you could even make a painting for a loved one because I've done all three of them and I feel like all of them can be so meaningful in their own ways. And I've even gone a step farther and I have painted a picture with acrylic painting on the canvas and then on the back of it, whatever picture I painted, and it could be of anything, whatever comes to mind for me to paint, something beautiful, something that they would want to be proud of and hang up in their home or just keep, on the back of it, I would write a poem in relation to what I drew or painted. And so it's just a thought, something you could do. You could even uh, draw a picture on a piece of paper, turn it around and make a poem also that way. And so again, low cost, high meaning. The fourth idea is not something that's necessarily physical, but it is meaningful. And that is to set up something to do in person an experience a bonding, if you will. So taking them out to eat, taking them for an experience, maybe going to the zoo, maybe going to see a art show, whatever they would like, then you transform it into an idea of a place you can take them. But the whole point is taking them to do something so that they feel they've gotten that bonding experience and they know it was for them. For example, last year, Mother's Day, I remember going to the Friendship Gardens. It was a bo botanical garden and just having the experience not only with myself, but with my daughter for my mom was really meaningful to be able to go there together and experience the beauty of what it was uh, and, you know, take pictures and videos, but really just enjoying the moment together was the best part. Number five, this is a no brainer. This is something that you can do that you don't have to think about much, but you can ask them for a wish list, something that they have compiled. I honestly am going to go back to Amazon just because Amazon is such a uh, really user friendly way to do this. But a lot of the times people will have wish lists. I know I have one for myself, my daughter. Um, for different people. And I think you can send your wish list to anyone and then that tells them exactly what you need or want without having to make that person think about it. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you already know what you're getting or that you've come up with the idea, you're still getting something that's useful to you. So you could ask them straight up for a wish list. Okay, number six, you can hire a cleaning service for them. That way it alleviates some of the pressure from their everyday routine. 
and honestly can give them a week's break if they have a deep cleaning service that's being given to them or gifted to them. And that is something that you obviously have to coordinate in some form because you need to know that they're okay with it. You need to know that they're going to be available at that time or not. And uh, then you end up buying it and saying, hey, look, I don't want you to have to stress. I know you're going through a lot or I just want you to take a step back and not have to worry about doing this. So hiring a cleaning service would be such a great gift. Number seven is sort of on the same wavelength as this last one, but buying them a massage, going to a spa, purchasing them a massage, and then just telling them, hey, I got a massage for you. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a facial. It could be a, you know, a 30 minute foot massage. It could be anything, but the idea is relaxation and pampering. Number eight, you could cook them a meal. You could come to their house or they could come to your house and you could come up with the whole idea, dinner, whatever it is, you plan it, you make it, you set it up. Number nine, and I'm gonna plug this because I love them so much, Protein World. I, down below, I'm gonna put my code and their website. It makes for a great gift because Protein World offers a ton of options. If you're living a healthy lifestyle, if you want the slender plan, if you work out at all, if you honestly just want some protein in your life, pre-workout, vitamins, you name it, Protein World has it, and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite products by them, but the ninth thing that I'm mentioning here is Protein World products, and the code I give you is 40% off the entire website, so you could definitely do this to make their life easier. And this is what I'm talking about. This product is awesome. It's the Gourmet Slender Blend, and I have this in three different flavors, and I've talked about this before in the past, but I wanna talk about it again, and that is because this is so great. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck, especially if you're using my code. 40% off is a huge chunk. And if you see the size is, is bigger, if not the same size as my face, I love their products because it's a nice, non gritty, smooth texture in your mouth. And also it is so flavorful and they have so many flavors to choose from. This one is the Millionaire's Cheesecake. This is their new kind of blend, the Slender Blend Gourmet version but I do love their whey protein concentrate. And my favorite for that is I always mention is the vanilla ice cream. It is my go-to, it goes with everything. You can put it in a shake, you can make it with just a quick literal mix of water and that alone and you're good. But I highly recommend getting a loved one Protein World products. It makes for awesome gifts. They even have bags of tea that I've gifted to my mom in particular and she loves them. There's a night tea and a day tea and just check out the website. I'll, I'll plug it down below. You can take a look at everything they have. You can see for yourself, but that is a good idea. And then the 10th idea is a photo shoot, whether it's a shoot for them, whether it is a photo shoot with them, just you and them, or for the family, you just gift them a photo shoot because photos are timeless. You're able to, I love them because you are able to kind of go back into that moment You've captured it, you can relive it, you can feel everything by physically looking at it. And I just, I think it's really cool. So a photo shoot is a great gift idea. Sure, it's a little more costly. You can find cost efficient photo shoots. You can find mini photo shoots. They have so many people offer all the time or giveaways and you can make it work. But I do think that is also a great idea. So I hope that with the 10 ideas that I formulated here for you, you're able to kind of brainstorm a little bit. Hopefully this helps you. I was just kind of thinking of things that I know I would love to be gifted. And so when I was jotting them down and I have a list here of the things I said to you today, I wrote down things from the heart of what I would want. So I was projecting, but in a good way, this is gonna be helpful for you. And please comment down below if you think of something else or if you liked or didn't like this video. Regardless, I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you for watching today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell button to be alerted when I post. I upload a new video every Monday and Thursday mornings at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. And as always, stay sassy. Bye guys.